there are more uh, indications for robotic surgery than, than what uh, is generally known. The role of robots in medicine is growing. Not only are they being used in general surgical procedures, but also in more and more subspecialty surgeries, including urology, gynecology, and gastroenterology. In tonight's special report, we take a look at how one Chicago hospital is using them to operate on your heart. I think our program is unique in the fact that it does a very, very large volume of these cases, as well as a large variety of these cases. Dr. Husband Balki is the director for U Chicago Medicine's robotic and minimally invasive cardiac surgery program. It's one of only about a dozen such programs in the U.S. and has been open since 2013. We have patients coming to us from all over the country, um, patients who find out that they can have their surgery done without having their chest cracked open. It's very appealing. Many Chicagoans find that appealing, too. Lisa Haverty, a former kindergarten teacher in Tinley Park, is one of them. Dr. Balky stepped in and I haven't missed a beat. In 2018, Lisa was getting ready to retire. Even though she didn't have any known heart issues, she decided to have some tests done as baseline reference points for the future. My mom received a call the next day from the local cardiologist saying, found something really unusual in your echo. It appears there's a marble sized mass in your right ventricle. Lisa immediately scheduled an appointment with a cardiologist at U Chicago Medicine, who, after confirming her initial test results, got her an appointment with Dr. Balky that same day. I've always been a walker and I walk several times a week doing four miles and it's no problem at all. I've had absolutely no symptoms. It was a shock. The good news is that the mass they found was benign and it could be removed robotically. Normally, in most other hospitals, for her to undergo this surgery, she would have to have her chest cracked open in the middle and have open, traditional open heart surgery. Instead, Dr. Balki made four half inch incisions on the right side of Lisa's rib cage. The benefit is that the surgeries are, um, have less complications, there's less bleeding, there's quicker uh, recovery, uh, less pain, and earlier return to work and full activities. We basically went in on a Wednesday morning at 6.30 to check in. I was home Thursday evening at 4.30 in our driveway. Lisa says she was up and around in no time following the surgery and has been ever since. I'm so grateful that that was even an option. I had heard of robotic surgery before, but didn't really know that it was being done routinely in cardiothoracic applications. And that's good to know, considering in 2014, nearly 8 million people in the U.S. had some type of heart surgery. That's the most recent statistic from the American Heart Association. Given how COVID can affect the heart itself and the poor lifestyle habits many of us have picked up during the pandemic, that number will likely go up. We're busy every day. Now, what's also different about this program is, Dr. Volke says, it focuses on several different types of robotic heart surgery, while most other programs perform only one. And if you're told you need open heart surgery, Dr. Volke encourages patients to always get a second opinion, saying there's likely a way to do it without breaking your sternum. Mm.